inside Mayweather Boxing Club. Maricela Cornejo. First time we talked to her at or before her workout, so she's had. Yes. Maricela, fight week for you. All these people been in here for a month here to watch you train and work. What was that like? <laughs> it was awesome. No. All the attention was to me. Yeah. They all came to the doghouse and watched me work. No. Um, it was crazy this last uh, month with Senior and every, or I mean with um, Mayweather, Floyd, um, preparation for his fight. So now it's good to come in and uh, kind of come in and not be crammed up here with right. all the fans. Does it make it a little harder for you to get your own workout in when you get all the, the people in and out? Uh, yeah, it's just everybody, you know, it's just one box of rings and ten guys. And they would just kind of stand there and watch him like they watch Floyd. I'm like, yo, sit down. You know, like, it, it's just too much, too many people for us to like try to move around and everything like that. It's frustrating, but we make it work. Let me ask you this. As a, as a female boxer, you're not, you're not ugly. So you're in a Thank gym you. here. <laughs> Is it difficult at all for you? Because I know you can. Is it frustrating or difficult? Does it bother you when when people are maybe not? You feel that it don't take you seriously sometimes. Uh, I think I've earned the respect here. Um, that I know of. I, I know I have earned the respect here with the guys. Um, they see me sometimes. Like I'll come in from like a meeting or last time it was a photo shoot. That was like the worst decision I did. And I had my makeup done, my hair done, everything like that. They're like. So they give me uh, crap about that, but um, once I'm in the ring, they treat me as one of the guys, and um, and I like it. I wouldn't want it any other way. So uh, yeah. Now you've been out of action for quite a while. When was your last fight? Uh, November last year. November last year. I know you've been trying and trying and trying. You, every month you thought you had a fight lined up, and I now, tried. Now finally, I was not mean to you. That's right. <laughs> Well, you're always mean to me, so. <laughs> so. Knock on wood, nothing goes wrong. You have a fight this coming up weekend. How frustrating is it as a fighter um, just to have constantly think you're having something working and not happen? How frustrating it is? Very frustrating. Um, but you just gotta, I, I'm thankful actually that all those fights did fall through. Everything happens for a reason. And um, I'm so much in better condition um, with the people that I'm working with. but also mentally um, and that's that's the part where uh, people tend to boxers tend to fall out is mentally they're, they're strong you know they have everything together but then they're mentally weak so I feel good going into this fight and I'm thankful for um, the opportunity that and hopefully everything doesn't <laughs> go to rumble. <laughs> How much more exciting is it to get to come in and train knowing that you have something set? Oh know, my gosh so so exciting it's it's awesome because now I, I can see the like I'm like okay after Friday, I can take a few days off, uh, take care of a lot of things that I need to take care of business-wise, and um, just take like two weeks off out of the gym. I'll still be training myself, but out of like the boxing gym, just you know, then come back and be refreshed. And, um, it's awesome. It's awesome that you have a light at the end of all your hard work. So. Now last week it was crazy media week, not in the gym, but in, in well here of course too, too, but at MGM and all that kind of thing. Uh, saw you have a night there at the uh, the different fights, different events. Um, she was doing her best to promote women's boxing. I saw her with the belt, yeah. Yeah, on Instagram. yeah. She said she didn't want to take the belt, but her, she, no, she was kind of forced to belt, to girl. get attention. Yeah. But what do you think? You know, other than that, you know, that, that you ladies can do to promote the sport because it's it's having a difficult time right now. So what what can be done to to kind of elevate it in the public eyes? Um. Get out there, you know, don't be just in the gym and like, I respect that what she did. She went out there with her belt, she showcased it, she's trying to get women's boxing out there, try to get everybody to see that it's not just the men doing the hard work and winning the belts and everything like that, but um, get out there, network, uh, companies, anything like that, just to get your name out there, because, uh, yeah, I've been in the sport for like two years now, and uh, I've seen all the madness of how they don't respect women's boxing and how it's just so such a hush hush sport for us and they don't they don't take it seriously. So um, I, I respect all these girls who have been at, in the sport for like 
10 plus years and still they're grinding it out every day. Um, I don't know how I would be able to do that for 10 years and not make a noise. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy to hear that she's out there grinding and um, I think they just speak their minds safe to themselves and uh, don't listen to all the nonsense. People are always going to say, oh, just because she's pretty, just because of this, just, you know what? Pretty, a pretty face don't get you the belt. You, you have to go get in there yourself and win at the end of the night. So respect uh, all fighters, all fighters, no matter who it is, what level it is, respect all fighters and, um, and yeah, just, just say, wave at the haters and smile. Is, is one of the problems with the female, um, with women's boxing, that the lack of uh, a talent depth, I mean, it seems like you don't have enough, I mean, you have quality at the top, but, but it, you don't have a, a really deep talent pool, so sometimes you get maybe fighters who who aren't maybe at the level they should be fighting people, you know, and it kind of gives a bad image to the, to the ladies. That, I didn't word that very well, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean, and I dealt with that my, my uh, second fight. It was funny. Um, the girl had, I think she even had more experience than I did, and that was my second fight. And I went in there, obviously, one to know, and I think she had two losses or two wins or something like that she was much more experienced than me after the fight the commissioner came or whoever was there in charge of the fight came to me and it was like it was a tko third round so they stopped it <laughs> but he's like are you are you sure you only have two amateur fights and two and one profile i was like yeah he's like you need to fight at, you know tougher opponents because uh that was too easy for you and is that my fault like no i, I they, I'm gonna fight whoever they put in front of me. I don't care if they're experienced or anything like that, but I know what I'm bringing into it. And there will be, there probably is someone out there that's better than me that's gonna, you know, beat me, but I'm gonna give it my all. And if my all is what they're hating about, then I, I, I have no control over that. So. Well, just in general, you know, like less women are out there willing to punch someone else in the face and then the guy. So has MMA really hurt, especially with the kind of taking off the women? Do you think it's hurt? As far as uh, getting you know more women involved in boxing, uh, MMA. Yeah, because I are more of the women. Do you see them gravitate to MMA instead oh, of? Oh, you know boxing? what? I just started watching that. Um, I haven't. The but, Ultimate Fighter. I respect. Yeah, I respect MMA, and I, but I don't. I always told my friends, no, I'm not gonna do MMA and everything like that. But I watched this last episode with uh, the house and everything because Jessica's on it with Kelsey, and uh, and man, that girl that won at the end, she was. I, I was. I, I thought she wasn't going to take it, but the other girl, I think, came in way too confident. Shayna Baszler. Yeah, she came in way too confident, but this Latina girl, she, yeah. So now <laughs> it was really fun, and I actually had a, a guy friend, a jiu-jitsu guy, he showed me a move, and I was like, no, I don't want to learn all that, I don't want, he showed me the move, it was pretty fun. So now you're not no, rolling no, out I'm, and move to MMA. No, 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 no. So I we're breaking that story. No, never say no. <laughs> so you're challenging... You're challenging Ronda Rousey right here now. Yeah, I'm, I'm challenging her and Chris Cyborg. Yeah. To, to a boxing answer. match. No, no, yeah, to a boxing match. Yeah. No, Chris may come in here and uh, spar. Um, I may bring her in. She's friends with. Uh, she got a fight this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her opponent fell out, and now, yeah, so they found another opponent for her because oh. I guess they're saying that she was injured, but she was trying to claim up three separate injuries, so they're saying that she um, faked the injury. I think that there's that be. But uh, yeah, now they found a new one. So I'm, I'm happy for Chris and wish her the best. And I know she's going to destroy that girl. All right, well, so we're going to see you this weekend. What yes. what can the folks tell them about it, if they can oh, see it or not? Yeah, or? it's going to be on a delayed uh, broadcasting on WGN and I believe on some other network. Um, but once I find all that out, I'll post it on my Facebook. It's Facebook slash Maricela.tv or my Instagram um, at Maricorn. M-A-R-I, for, -A -R -I for us white people that don't can't pronounce it. C-O-R-N, not money going. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you can catch me there, and uh, thank you to everybody who's been supporting me, and uh, it's LASIK of Nevada, so now I see, so I did my eyes. All right, well, good luck to you, and I'll uh, talk to you next week at your win. Thank you.